EIDL grant is finally getting paid. The remainder of your $10,000 EIDL grant from 2020 was not paid for over a year. But now the remainder of the $10,000 EIDL grant is getting paid. People who applied in 2020 from a low-income-based community will be getting an email from sba.gov telling them they're getting paid the remainder or the full $10,000 if they never got any. Thereafter, everyone else that applied in 2020 will get an email as well. The question is how soon and how quickly. Meantime, Joe Biden has business grants in his third service package. And so this video is helpful to understand how to not only get the EIDL grant from 2020, but also how to get a business grant under the 2021 application that will be in the third stimulus package. Enjoy this overnight's LA video on business grants. Email from Javita Carranza to a viewer of this channel five seconds ago says, EIDL grants are gone. Hey everybody, this is LA Light with a second stimulus check and stimulus package update. This one about EIDL grant and loans. Boy, uh, as always, like and subscribe to this channel and drop your comments below and you're going to have comments to this video as soon as you hear the first sentence I'm about to reveal. And uh, hit that bell on the front of this channel every time you hear another bombshell. And the bombshells are just about to explode like you've never heard them explode. I'm going to get right to it. Email from Javita Carranza to a viewer of this channel five seconds ago says, EIDL grants are gone. Yes, uh, I don't mince my words and I deliver bad news as much as good news on this channel. And I've seen everything twist and turn in the last three days from Javita's office. But minutes ago, I saw an email. This is actually an email written by an SBA officer on SBA email address with the letterhead and all the beautiful colors. And what's in the letter is not particularly beautiful. It says that I am responding to you, sir or madam, to your, to your email directly to uh, Administrator Carranza. And she asked me to respond to you directly in regards to your request as to where your grant advance is. The person that goes on to say that effective now, there is no more grant money. The grant money has been used up and you will not be receiving your grant money by operation of law. SBA has no grant money to give you. So there you go. Um, goalpost is not even the term to describe this hot mess that is Javita Carranza's office. What's going on? If you don't know, on Friday, an email was sent out from SBA it's again an email from SBA that said the EIDL application process is now closed, that new applications will not be received, that existing applications will continue to be processed, and in fact mentions the grant, that Friday email. It says that grant money will still be paid $1,000 per employee for all EIDL applications currently on file. Well, that was Friday, and today is Monday, and today they change it again. They say, no, we're out of money. We're not paying you grant money. You know, Donald Trump needs to just get rid of her. It, it, she literally has no idea where her numbers are. I, know, I understand she's a postal employee, a former postal employee who worked her way up in, in life, but she has no grasp of numbers. How do you issue a press release on Friday saying that everyone that has will still get their grant money that has never received their grant money, and then on Monday you say the money's gone. Sorry, I didn't realize we ran out of money. How do you appear before members of Congress uh, two or three weeks ago saying every application that's still being processed is going to get finished and redone, uh, and but we're still already opening the portal for new people? Why did you let all that sea of new people come in and get grant and loan money where people that are viewers of this channel from March or April have still, and apparently, according to this email, will never get their grant money? Uh, you know, my intended purpose for this video is to answer 187 of your EIDL grant and loan questions. But I'm pissed as hell. I'm pissed as hell as part of the set starts to fall. I'm pissed as hell because this 
was supposed to not be the end of EIDL Grant on a Monday afternoon. It wasn't. It was supposed to be a continuing discourse to ensure that my viewers who have not gotten their EIDL Grant and loans going forward get it. And this email is just a hot mess. I have watched other channels. The channels in the space are generally nice people. And you can tell everyone is hideously confused. We just don't know what's going on. One day we're reporting it's portals closed. Another day we're reporting that it's all down for maintenance. Another day we're reporting it's out of funds. Then we're reporting it's accepting new applications. Uh, you know, and people are sending me email, sending me DMs and sending me uh, things saying, oh, it's we'll switched this way, it's switched that way. And then there's the haters. There's the haters that say, oh, no, it's still open. I see it's open. It's there. I found it. You know, it's just all over the place. And all that is doing is causing a lot of confusion. Ultimately, my viewers, some, are not getting grant money potentially ever. Now, the email that I saw minutes ago that I'm referring to from Javier Carranza's office, which, of course, is this is a bombshell like you've never heard a bombshell, that EIDL grants are gone, did not mention that EIDL loans are gone. But does she even know what's going on with that department? As I detail in, uh, in yesterday's video, which apparently is a big blockbuster, more about that in a second, the EIDL process is segmented into different offices. One details with the loan, one details with reconsideration, and one details with the grant. Ultimately, it appears that one of those three offices is now closed because the grant office is not processing grant money. What's going to go on with recon and what's going to go on with loans, you know, are they going to run out of money tomorrow? <laughs> you know, Javita Carranza, when she appeared for Performing Members of Congress, she said that the average EID alone was, you know, eighty dollars or $88,000. It's not. Her own document shows it's two twenty. She said that no loan was given over $150,000. It's not true. She was giving loans up to $300,000, $400,000 to people in Montana who were never on lockdown. So she literally has no grasp of numbers. And she's in charge of a funding institution, a loan operation that she has no idea of not about numbers. Let me get to some of your questions right away before I get to more bombshells and we're only five minutes into this video. Uh, if I look pissed, I am. I don't look good when I'm pissed, but I'm pissed. Uh, Sylvia, I used one of the contact emails to respond to the loan officer. I'll look into my account on Monday. Nomad, I applied March 30th. I was denied for recon. Congressman set in, stepped in. Um, accepted for in recon. James, I emailed about my grant. I think this is pathetic. Um, you know, if anyone has grant comments in here, I'm just going to sadly reference what I just said. Uh, so I'm really going to just, unfortunately, if you're a grant person, I'm going to move over to recon and, and loan in these comments. Magnolia, I need help with my grant loan. I applied in April, denied a loan, no economic hardship, never received my grant. Um, what have you done uh, since April? Have you contacted SBA? Have you contacted Tier 2? Have you contacted Congressman? This channel has a lot new viewers, as you sort of notice. It's just, you know, uh, 10 or 12 new viewers in the last, you know, few weeks. And so I, if you are new to this channel and you're new for the EIDL grant or loan, which I think you are, you need to do what you need to do to escalate things. Uh, I'm one way to escalate. I'm escalation. I'm one way to escalate things, but the other ways you escalate is you contact your congressmen and senators and get them involved. You get them involved. You all have two senators and you have at least one congressman. So you get them involved and they have a backdoor to contact uh, SBA to get your loan approved, to get it out of wherever it is. Next, use the benefits of the private chat, the, the private portal. Um, James, good evening. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, James. Santana applied for recon for the loan. Congressman got two AMs emails for info. I'm not giving up. Good. Don't give up. DAZONE. I did get a request for the IG. I need a loan officer. I'm stuck in processing. Stuck in processing is not a bad situation. I said that to someone yesterday. I mean, he must be like too loopy to say it's not a bad situation. No, it's not a bad situation. If you have a loan offer and it hasn't been funded and it hasn't been accepted and just sort of sitting there, that's not a bad thing. You're likely to get it approved if you know your credit score is good. Um, there's some glitch, bitch or Mitch that's involved that's causing the loan not to get processed. HT, we should be sharing information with each other. Um, well said. Uh, my only guilt trip is that maybe I sh didn't realize the importance of doing this earlier. Um, I didn't have this contact information earlier. A lot of those viewers got it late in the game and, and I'm sort of filtering it through. But boy, um, 
Oh, Albi, this is interesting. LLA, I don't think there's an Experian Vantage Score 3.0 anymore. I called Experian and now they only use FICO 8. Advise whether this is true. I don't know. Does anyone know it? Drop in the comments below. I know that a lot of viewers were talking about dealing with Experian uh, in private chat with one another in public chat. I saw the chats and um, they were they were doing it as of two days ago, so I don't know. Kevin Lee, um, I'm going to the Instagram crap. Thank you. Constant, I finally found out how this how to go on this program. I don't have any families. I'm SSI and I'm Social Security. Um, sadly, the program's closed it's, as to new applications. I'm sorry, Ask Oscar Delgado. Any context for reconsideration other than um, than the email address. Yes, go in the port, go in the private. My, Matthew, I spent the entire morning and afternoon of tier two. Oh my God. Uh, the basic is that the money is now gone. So Matthew was told the same thing. I'm not going to receive my loan or any grant money. Oh, Jesus. Sorry to curse there. Um, nine minutes into this video and now the video, now the viewer, Matthew um, Smith, is told that loan money is gone. So the actual email I read to you did not say loan money's gone, but Matthew's told something else. I've said this information, um, I'm SOL on getting any money from the SBA, either grant or loan. I'm congress congress contacting my congressmen and senators. I'm thinking of suing. This is very frustrating. Um, Cruz Juan, thank you for everything you're doing. Yeah, is there anything for me to do if she shut everything down? Uh, this is very disconcerting. Um, Brenda, I have some videos in my playlist. Uh, Khan, uh, Kuhn, John, I'm spell for that. I'm so angry I can't even pronounce John right. Uh, that should be on a t-shirt. I applied on July 4th. I was emailed on April 8th to correct a box. Uh, can I get them my grant? No. Uh, Victor, I got a loan in three days. Let me know. Um, Jeanette, this is a great idea. Great idea. So um, let me get to the bombshell of the day, which which uh, other other than the ones I've already dropped, uh, which was really good news before I got to this crapola, which was that um, the viewers who use the benefits of this channel's private have already gotten great success. Um, one viewer sent to me that he was already approved for his loan, and this is not one of the two that I mentioned yesterday, this is a new one, got approved for his loan that was sort of sitting there and another one sort of said something like he was being processed and was approved, but he had been funded, so now it's moving along. So loan things are working. Um, you know, ultimately I don't know what the status is with SBA. It appears, but I really, you know, I'm saying it appears, it appears the grants are closed. It appears that no more grants are being paid to anyone. Whether or not you're approved for a grant and they're waiting to send you the grant. Second, it appears that loans are gone, but maybe if you're approved for a loan and you've signed the loan document, that the loan money is coming to you. I'll say that again. If you sign a loan document, I mean, just think about this. You sign a loan document, SBA accepts the loan document. Everyone's contracted for a loan document. SBA says, we're not giving you the money. Oh boy, I, I would just love to see that one. No, I think that I think those people will get their loan money. I don't know, and I think that potentially no, people who have a loan offer but has not been accepted by SBA might not see that loan offer accepted. Finally, what about recon? I mean, what is the purpose of recon now? There may be no purpose for reconsideration if you're not getting a grant. And if you can't get a, and if you win recon and then go back into the loan process, you may still not get loan money. Um, here's the good news, and I'm stretching. This is where I really want to say, hey, I'm stretching. And I mean, I mean I'm stretching. What's going on now is a pandemic, and the lockdowns are being reinstituted. Re in California, Governor Gavin Newsom instituted a new lockdown minutes ago that covers essentially 80% of the California population. 30 counties in California, including the LA County, where I am right here, were put on back on a lockdown. The same lockdown from March. The only difference is instead of 3,000 or 4,000 or 5,000 COVID 19 cases per day newly, it's now at 16,000. So California's going back on lockdown. If the rest of this country goes back on lockdown, potentially SBA may reopen EIDL. If those wonderful 
forces that and powers that be from Marco Rubio to Steve Mnuchin to Javier Caron to go back to S to go back to Congress and say, hey, I need more money. You remember that wonderful hearing from a few weeks ago? Yeah, you do. Where she, they asked her, why don't you come and ask for more money? Well, this is the time to contact, who is it? Um, who is that government? Who is that uh, congressman that said it? It was, it was great. Where he says, why don't you come and ask me for more money? Come and ask me for more money. Well, now's the time to contact that congressman and say, hey, she's ran out of money and I never got my damn money from Marge. Uh, th that is certainly the person I would contact ASAP if you're pissed like I am. Um, so there we go. Um, could someone please tell me how to put on form S202 for business liability insurance? I don't have the loans in my business name. Um, your loan application has to has to correlate with the with the streamline application. So if you apply for your business name, you have to have you know you have to have your business accounts all lined up. You are the greatest, Joni. Well, thank you so much, Kathy. I signed up for e IG. I hope I did it right. Um, Jody, Joe and Jody Rasmussen, who's different than the other Joan, Joni or Jody uh, from seconds ago. Uh, we got our portal yesterday, 7-2. We got our second business day. We got an email to call verbatim. We called and asked a couple questions, and they said our loan was approved. So I asked about the $1,000 grant. He said, as of Friday, the grant, they're out of grant money, but they're still approving loans. Okay, so, <laughs> All right, so that conflicts with the other person. Um, so you know what I'm going with? I'm going with the grant money's gone and that the loan money is still there um, for people who have already applied. Uh, boy, hot mess. Um, first, finally, a personal note. If you used the benefits of the private yesterday, thank you. If you're still not in there because you haven't been approved yet, <laughs> that's not Javita holding you up. It's me. I had no idea there's so many of you. I mean, I see, I see how many viewers are on the videos. I see how many comments are on the videos. I mean, yesterday's video had 83 comments or something like that. So when I see 83 comments, I think, okay, there's 83 people having a problems or, you know, 200 people commenting, 200 people having problems. Lord, the number of requests to get into the private is so overwhelming. It has to be done completely manually, manually, one by one by one by one. So there is a backlog. Um, please be kind to your host. <laughs> please be kind to your illustrious host. So don't be emailing me and ask, telling me how to teach you how to use Instagram or, you know, um, calling me or picking up the phone or stopping me in the middle of traffic say hey can you sign me up for that instagram thing uh i can only do so much i mean really and lastly a lot of you have said really nice comments um some of them are just you know um just praise is very very nice comments and then some of you had asked me questions in the in the private i haven't even gotten time to get to those i mean it's just it's just overwhelming it's overwhelming. Uh, so I think there's about 200 to 300 of you that are waiting to get in still. So um, needless to say, if you're looking for grant money, boy, I'm sorry. I just don't know what's happening. But at this point, it looks like grant money's gone and loan money's still there. Um, who knew it would come to this? Uh, well, let's see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> who knows? The grant money could be back tomorrow. As always, Dave, I like for more. <music>